The action of the film takes place in 1989. Two years ago, a girl named Lisa witnessed her mother's murder by a robber. In an attempt to help Lisa cope with the trauma, her father Dale decided to move to another city. Over time, he married a psychologist named Janet, who also has a daughter, Lisa's peer named Taffy. Unlike her mother, young Miss Hawaii, Taffy, warmly welcomed her stepsister and always supports her, giving her beauty tips. There's a solarium in the family garage, but it's faulty and gives electric shocks. Lisa's favorite pastime, being a loner, is tending to the grave of an unknown young man in an abandoned cemetery. She rubs his monument with wax, talks to him, and even brought him beads from her deceased mother as a gift. One day, Taffy persuades her stepsister to go to a party hosted by one of their high school classmates. There, Lisa is pleased to hear praise for her dark poems from the school newspaper editor and a ladies' man named Michael. By the way, Lisa secretly has feelings for him, which she only shared with Taffy. Mistaking a strong drink for soda, Lisa becomes ill. Her lab partner, Doug, helps her to the room. Frightened, Lisa, seeing his intentions to take advantage of her weakness, runs into the woods, despite the storm and thunder. By the young man's grave, she confesses that she would like to be with him. Returning home, Lisa, out of anger, smashes the mirror in the bathroom, for which Janet scolds her in the morning and threatens to send her to a mental hospital for involuntary treatment. Meanwhile, local news reports that lightning of a strange green color struck the monument in the abandoned cemetery yesterday. In the evening of the same day, Lisa, working as a seamstress, returns home. She is tired and refuses to join the family members for a walk. Suddenly, she hears knocking on the door and roaring. Then, an unknown person in dirty rags breaks into the house through the window. Lisa unsuccessfully throws various objects at him, then quickly climbs to her room and onto the roof. Unable to hold on, she falls down onto this stranger who had come out onto the porch. The neighbors, considering Lisa strange, do not react to her screams. The girl rushes into the house and tries to call the police, but the unknown person in the adjacent room picks up the receiver of the shoe phone and calms down upon hearing music from it. Lisa sees that he doesn't want to harm her. Though the unknown person doesn't speak, he grunts to indicate he needs help. His hand is missing. Then he takes out Lisa's mother's beads from his pocket and wants to kiss the girl's hand. Lisa realizes that the lightning strike brought the guy to life, the one whose grave she tends. Lisa decides to send him to the shower to wash off all the dirt. After that, she picks out new clothes for him to replace his old ones and even combs his hair. Upon the family's return to the chaos in the house, Lisa explains that a robber broke in, but she managed to fight him off. Her stepmother doesn't believe her, thinking Lisa did it all herself and threatens to send her for treatment again. After that, the guy, hiding in the wardrobe, sees Lisa crying. In the morning, he picks out a dress for her, albeit belonging to Taffy, and a hat. Many at school are impressed by Lisa's new look. That morning, while Janet is having breakfast with headphones on, the guy throws a worm into her plate. Then the woman is horrified to find it in her food. In the evening, when Taffy is at a party and Dale is at work, the stepmother goes up to Lisa's room and accuses her of deliberately ruining her breakfast. Janet is feeling unwell now and cannot go to the work conference. At that moment, sneaking up from behind with a sewing machine, the guy takes care of Janet. He lacks an ear, and he quickly procures one. Shocked, Lisa quickly comes to her senses, and together with the guy, they bury Janet in his empty grave. Upon returning home, Lisa sews the guy's ear, but he still can't hear with it. The guy draws a lightning bolt symbol on her hand. Lisa realizes that for his new organ to work, he needs electricity. The broken solarium in the garage is just the right source of power. In the morning, Taffy and Dale calmly have breakfast. They are sure Janet is at the conference. At school, Lisa leaves a note in Doug's locker inviting him on a date to the lake. He agrees. The girl lures him into the woods, and there, with her new friend, takes care of him. The guy receives the coveted hand. 
Lisa sews it on for him, and after an electric charge in the solarium, it grafts onto him. It turns out the guy was passionate about music when he was alive. Lisa thanks him for saving her from the asylum. And she thinks Doug is a bad person. In the room, she shares that she has never had a date with a guy before. She decides she'll ask Michael out tomorrow, fearing that the electric chair awaits her for all her crimes. In response to Lisa's question, the guy confesses with a gesture that he once had an experience with a beloved girl who, by the way, later left him for someone else. The next day, Lisa is summoned to the principal's office. The police have begun searching for missing Doug, and witnesses saw him yesterday near the lake with a girl resembling her. Lisa refuses to speak without a lawyer and runs away. Meanwhile, at home, the guy hears from an audio message on the phone that Dale is coming. Just in case, he decides to leave by car. Along the way, Lisa meets him and urgently asks him to take her to Michael's house. Then she breaks into his house and sees Taffy with him, which greatly upsets her. Simultaneously, the guy sees Taffy's red parked car and bursts into Michael's room. He takes care of Michael, gets a male anatomical part, and quickly leaves. Lisa guesses where he went. Approaching the forest with a shocked Taffy, she releases her stepsister, thanking her for her warm, truly sisterly, attitude towards her. The guy's former grave is already cordoned off by police as a crime scene. Lisa asks if he loves her, and he confirms it. However, he still lacks one more organ. But he has everything planned. Lisa sews what the guy currently lacks in the house, and then the young couple rushes to the solarium. After each electric charge, the guy looks more and more alive. He also proposes to Lisa and puts a jelly ring on her finger. Hearing the approaching sounds of police sirens, Lisa then asks the guy to help her and lies down in the solarium. The guy turns it on to the maximum. Later, the neighbors see a fire in their garage. At the end of the film, Dale and Taffy bring flowers to Lisa's grave. Then they go to Janet's grave. Meanwhile, on a bench near the lake, the now articulate guy reads poems to his bandaged, resurrected wife, Lisa. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to not miss out on new videos. Thanks for watching.